I get it. You guys are really not worried about those top growing stocks, the Googles, the Microsoft, the Amazon, because they cost $300, $400 per share. And could they really go from $300 to $600 in a year? Could they really double in a year? You guys are looking for those downright degenerate stocks that's, that maybe underneath $10 that could possibly go up to $20 in a single year and double your income. You guys are not worried about long-term growth and some good quality companies. Y'all want money now. So I'm just going to go ahead and give you a list of my top 10 stocks at around $10 or $10 or under that you could buy today. I'm going to show you guys how to find these top 10 stocks from the sponsor of this video, Moomoo. Right now, if you sign up with Moomoo, they're offering you up to 15 free stocks just from signing up and using that platform. And right now, they have an 8.1 cash sweep interest on the uninvested cash inside of your portfolio. So you're gonna, you can earn 8.1% just from the uninvested cash by doing absolutely nothing at all. So that's better than some stocks itself. Now, inside of that platform, of course, they offer option trading. They have access to early market hours, after market hours. And then they have many free tools in there that you can use to help yourself become a better trader so not only that you can invest inside u.s markets you also have access to markets across the world on moomoo you got free access to a lot of information earnings calendar the heat sheets everything inside the app is pretty much dialed in to help you become a better investor and better trader so if you guys want to check that out that link is going to be down in the description and also down in the pinned comment section you sign that click that sign up get your free stocks get access to the cash reap and use their free tools that they have in there to become a better investor today. But enough talking, let's go ahead and dive straight into this video. All right, here we are on Moomoo and the first thing that you guys wanna do to find these stocks is hit that search button at the top and then right underneath the search bar, there's a button called screener. So we're gonna screen for these top, top stocks and then we're gonna hit create screener. So right here, we're gonna look at the, the you have access to other markets, US, Canada, Japan, but we're just going to look at the U.S. market, the NASDAQ, the New York, and then we're going to scroll down to where it says price underneath description. We're going to look for any stocks from around zero dollars to ten dollars. All right, let's let's do, you know, it could be ten dollars and fifty cents. Let's do eleven dollars. And then you could also look at the 52 week high. These are stocks under ten dollars that is performing very well. Or you could look at the 52 week low. These are stocks that's under ten or eleven dollars that's performing not the best on the year. And you could begin it at a discount. So let's unclick those. But another one that's very important that we want to look at is the market cap. Now, the market cap, we're not looking for any penny stocks. Yes, these companies are under $10, but we're still not looking for penny stocks, stocks that are worth 10, 15, 20 cents. We are looking for decently quality companies. So we want to eliminate all the penny stocks right down at the bottom where it says view results. It says 2,844. We want to get rid of all of the penny stocks. So right here, we're going to type in a half a million, I mean, half a billion dollars. So it'd be like 500 million. So we're going to type in 0 0.5 billion. All the way up to the top and there go the results are now to 512 so let's go ahead and click view results and then we can change it to sort by the market cap right here so we just sorted by the market cap the highest market cap on here is 120 billion dollars so here are some examples of the ones that immediately pop out is mufg mitsubishi's san itub bbva ford motor companies wit bbd and okay and one of bros discovery wbd now let's take a look at the top 10 i'm going to bring you guys today now the last time i did a video like this the top 10 stocks under 10 dollars let's show you guys someone in the youtube channel in the comments went along and did high perform over the last year this shows right here that over the last year the top 10 that i gave the first one was up 40 percent. the second one up 100 percent. the third one up 25 percent. the fourth one went down 5.5 but the fifth one up 122%, sixth one up 14%, the seventh one, PSEC down 25%, ADT down 14%, HUD up 69%, and PAYO was down 12% with an average portfolio gain of 31% over the course of a year. So the last 10 hit, six out of 10 hit, four of them did not hit with multiple of them going over a hundred percent gains. And that's what you're getting when you buying stocks that's under $10. It has the potential to go up 100, 120% in a single year. Now, the first one I'm gonna bring you guys on this list is KJC. 
Krenos Gold Corp. Now, right here, ticker symbol KJC, you guys can see that they have been going up over the last couple of months. Right now, they're $9.42. Now, now Krenos Gold is a Canadian gold miner company that has a diverse portfolio in properties inside of Canada, Brazil, and Chile. Now, including their dividends, Krenos shares are up around 55% year to date. Now, KJC is one of the best performing stocks on this list. Analysis says that Crino stocks remain actively valued even after its impressive 2024 run. Gold prices will continue to rise and says Crenos has an attractive growth prospects. They are very optimistic about its Dixie project in Ontario, which acquired its Great Bear Resources Bio. So they bought, bought out this land that they're going to prospect and mine for gold. And they have very, they're very bullish on that they're going to find a lot of gold in this land. So the first one we have on this list is K, KJC. The second one on this list is ticker symbol TEF. They're $4.75. And they, and they also have been performing pretty well since July. They've been going up there $7.75 at the recording of this video. Now, Telefonica is the leading telecommunications company in Spain. The stock pays a 6.7% dividend yield, one of the highest on this list which is, is pretty rare for stocks that's under $10. Now, TEF has significantly restructured its company in recent years to streamline its business and improve its balance sheet. The company is excited in Central America and it acquired E Plus in Germany and GVT in Brazil. It also combined its UK telecom assets in a joint venture deal with Liberty Global that includes a large cash infusion for TEF. So a stock under $10 that has pretty sweet dividends is pretty good. But we all know what they say about dividends. That's so high. 6.7% is pretty high. Uh, they might be at risk at cutting their dividends. So you might need to be a little bit careful with that one. The next one on the list is Nokia. Took a symbol NOK. They've also been doing pretty well over the last couple of months. Now Nokia is a telecom equipment and digital map data vendor that also licenses in intellectual properties to the third parties. The initial stages of the global 5G investment cycle has gained more momentum, especially in North America and in China. The 5G cycles will likely be larger and longer lasting than, free, than previous wireless network upgrade cycles, which will be supporting Nokia's long term growth. Nokia is optimistic the company can regain lost market shares by generating industrial leading revenue growth. So if they continue to build out this infrastructure with the 5G network, this could be a steal underneath. Right now, they're underneath $5. They're at $4.35. It might be a steal at this price point. All right, here we are on number four. Ticket symbol KEP, Korea Electrical Power at $7.51. Korea Electrical Power is an integrated electrical utility company that transmits and distributes electricity across South Korea. Analysis says that higher tariffs will help Korea Electrical offset the negative impacts of a slowdown in economic, in, in economic growth in Korea. Now, these four consecutive profitable quarters for KEP is a positive sign. Looking ahead, the Korea government majority ownership stake inside of KEP likely ensures that the government will support the company with favorable tariffs and other policies. And the company cutting costs can also help improve the margins. Now, let's take a look at number five, which is ticker symbol AEG. Now, AEG is at six dollars and 30 cents, and they've been doing pretty well over the last you know couple of months or so. Just to scroll back, they're not at their all-time high, but there is a steady growth over the from January 2024, heading all the way up to around six dollars and thirty cents. Earlier in the year, there was around four dollars and sixty-five cents. So it's not bad. It's still not too late to get it underneath ten dollars. Agon is a Dutch insurance company that offers insurance, savings, pensions, and investment products and services around the world. Now, AG 2024 free cash flow and operating capitals are within reach, which is not surprising given its management team has a long track record of impressive execution. The company's strategy of focusing on strategic assets that reduce capital ratio volatility and generates an attractive return on capital would create value for investors. AG buyback program will also support the stock. So when they're out there buying back their stocks, it's going to make your stocks more valuable. The next one we're going to look at, if of course, we're going to put this one right back on the list is Ford Motor Company's ticker symbol F. Now, it's not under $10, but it's at around $10.57. 
If that pisses you off, he could just skip this one. But now Ford is a leading America automotive automaker. It has been shifting its focus back towards electric vehicles to try to capture the, the future of transportation. And it's not quite yet profitable yet for them, but they know that it is the future and they're diving into it. So their strong aggressiveness towards EVs makes it attractive buy at around $10. Also, that has a, a very strong history of paying a pretty sweet dividends. Right now, they have a dividend yield of around 7%. Once again, that's kind of high. You have to be careful before they cut any of their dividends. But right now, they have a strong track record of paying high dividends. But right now, it's at 7%. All right, here we are on number seven, ticker symbol GTE. Right now, they're $6.72. They did have a high recently all the way in was this July of around $10. So right now we could be catching it at a steal, but it is at $6 and 72 cents. So you won't be getting it at their highs. You'll be getting it at a low. GTE is a Canadian based oil and gas exploration and production company with a focus on access in Columbia. GTE is showing significant free cash flow, which uses for debt reductions, buybacks and dividends. As oil prices remain elevated, GTE futures looks promising. Its low stock price makes it an attractive option for a great value inside of the energy sector. The next one on this list, number eight, would be COTY. Now, COTY has not been doing pretty good, but if it does reach all the way back up to $11.80, uh, it could be one of those good performers. So, yes, it had a high of 13 something it it, it it has its, its moments right it'll go up to $13 it'll pull back to nine it'll go back up to $13 and then it'll pull all the way back to nine right now it's right at the the nine dollar price point let's look at the chart it's at eight dollars and 99 cents so right now it has a, a strong support at nine dollars and then it has a strong resistance at thirteen dollars so if we could get it at nine and sell it at 13 that could be a good move for us now ticker symbol clty is a global producer of fragrances color cosmetics and skincare products the stocks is down around like i said it's down around 25 percent year to date um it's the worst performing stocks on this list but it has a strong support and a, and a very strong resistance line and right now if you're getting it at the nine dollars you're buying it at the support and this could be a good swing play for us in the future now analysis says that the stock weakness is a buying opportunity for long-term investors due to the improving outlook for clty businesses the company prestige brands benefits from healthy high-end u.s consumers and fragrance demand and new product launches will support sales volume Okay, let's go over to number nine, ticker symbol VRN. Now, VRN right now is at $6.62. It is another Canadian oil and glass exploration um, production company that owns properties in Western Canada, Utah, North and North Dakota. VRN is generating significant free cash flow in recent quarters, which is splitting between dividend payments, buybacks, and debt reductions. The company's improved credit rating will help reduce the interest expenses and in accelerated futures um, deliverance efforts. It's projected that 23% production growth is in 2024 will drive full year free cash flow around $737 million in 2024 and $811 million in 2025. And then the last one on this list would be ticker symbol RKLB, which is a pretty cool company that got to do out of space and rockets and stuff like that. But right now they're at nine dollars and eighty cents. As you guys can see, early in the year they was at three dollars and fifty cents. Now they all the way they were at a high of ten dollars and twenty nine cents, and now they're at nine dollars and eighty cents. So this could be a steal underneath ten dollars. Now Rocket Labs is a, a aerospace and defense company. It specializes in lunch services spacecraft engineering and design, components manufacturing, and other space management solutions. Now, Rocket share prices has nearly doubled since the beginning of 2023, but the liftoff might have just begun. Rocket Labs is a top lunch provider for customers with a small payload. It provides more lunch reliability than smaller competitors and more orbit flexibility than SpaceX and other larger competitors. Analysis says that Electron Rocket reusability will help Rocket Lab further reduce their launch cost so it will be even cheaper to launch their rockets into space in 2025 or 2026 so this could be just the beginning of the takeoff and there we go dreamers that is the top 10 stocks i'm going to bring you guys that's underneath ten dollars let me know which one was your favorite down in the comment section 
which one are you going to probably take a deeper dive look into? I'm not telling you to go out and buy these top 10 stocks. I'm not telling you to do that, but do your own research to see which one you might want to just add a little extra cash in and hope that it's a, it's a, it's a home run stock a year or two or three down the line. Let me know which one is your favorite down in the description. I, I kind of like the rocket company. That was a pretty good one. I, I like the rocket company. That's why I saved that one for last. But if you guys do want to get up to 15 free stocks, go ahead to click the link to the sponsor of this video. Move, move down in the description, down in the pinned comment section. And you can use that cash reap and other features inside of that platform. Like I showed you in this video, check that out. Once again, I'd like to thank today's sponsor of this video. Move, move. If you guys made it to the end of this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button. Hit that subscribe button because that literally helps out this channel more than you can even imagine. And if you want to help out just a little bit more, you can even share this video with a friend. Just hit that share button, text it to them, send it to them in an email, show them at work. Y'all ain't doing nothing at work anyway. Show them at work. It doesn't matter, but that would really help me out a lot. But other than that, guys, I'm Zeke, bringing you the Dream Green Show, and I'm out. Peace.